This is the video solution guide for the Unit 5 review for Physical Science Chemistry, uh, which deals with balancing formula equations and identifying reaction types. So, um, first thing, let's do balancing. Okay, and so let's see here. On this side, uh, we have one silver atom. Uh, you have one nitrate polyatomic, you have one nickel. On this side, you have one silver, you have two nitrates, and you have one nickel. Okay. Well, first thing I do to balance this guy is I'd flop a two here. It's going to make both your silver and your nitrate two. Uh, then all you have to do <coughs> is put a two there, and it's completely balanced. Okay, and so if we look at this, we have a compound and an element. We have a new compound and a new element. This is a single replacement reaction. Okay, one aluminum, two bromine, one aluminum, three bromine. All right, so I'd probably start by having my common factor of six. So I need to put a two there to make the bromine six, put a three here. That makes this guy 6, 2 in front of the aluminum. We're balanced. 2, 3, 2 are the coefficients. Two things becoming 1. That is a synthesis. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Oh, uh, should be a 4 here. I think there is one on your worksheet. I think it just got clipped off. Anyway, uh, let's see. Two aluminums. And we have sulfate groups. So we have three SO4s. Um, and then one thing I'm going to show you, because if you look over here, there's hydroxide and hydrogen. It might make it easier to think of water as a hydrogen bonded to a hydroxide. That's still H2O. But if we think about it in this way, it might make it easier for us. Um, so let's see, I have one hydrogen and then uh, one hydroxide group. On the product side, one aluminum. Sulfates, there's only one. Hydrogens, there are two, and then hydroxides, I have three. Okay, you could probably start by putting a two here to balance the aluminum. That becomes a two hydroxide, then becomes six. Let's see, three sulfate and one sulfate. If I put a three here, sulfate becomes three, and then hydrogen becomes six. Right, well, how do I get six hydrogens? Put a six here. That makes both the hydrogen and the hydroxide six. We're balanced, one, six, two, three. Uh, believe it or not, this is a double replacement. Okay, if you look at it, aluminum goes with the hydroxide. Hydrogen goes with the sulfate. That is a double replacement reaction. Two compounds forming two new compounds. All right, let's take a look at this one. Six carbons. 10 hydrogens, 5 and 2 is 7 oxygens over here. 1 carbon, 2 hydrogen, 3 oxygen. Uh, I'd probably start by flopping a 6 there. Carbon becomes 6. Oxygen, we have 12 and 1, which is 13. That's fine. 10 and 2. If I put a 5 here, 5 times 2 will give me 10 hydrogens. The oxygens have got 12 and 5, which are 17. Okay, at first glance, you look at 7 and 17, you're like, ah, those numbers are not fun to factor, and they're not. However, notice that we have oxygen in two places here, here and here. We're not going to mess with this one because it would screw up the carbon and the hydrogen we've already balanced. So out of these 17, these five I'm not going to touch, which means I need to come up with 12 from here. Well, that's pretty easy. Put a 6 here. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 5, 17. You're balanced. 1665. This is a combustion. You have a hydrocarbon and then O2CO2H2O. If you have a hydrocarbon and then these things, that stuff's burning. It's on fire. All right, let's see. One nickel. Uh, notice there's no chlorate over here, so I have to separate this as elements. Two chlorine, six oxygen over here. One nickel, two chlorine, two oxygens. Put a three here, that becomes six. You're balanced. You have one thing splitting apart and a two. That is a decomposition. It is decomposing. 
All right. Let's take a look here. Oh, and there should be a three here. I think it got clipped off. I think it's on your worksheet. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have one aluminum. Uh, we do have nitrate. So let's say we have three nitrate groups. You have two hydrogen and one sulfate group. Product side, two aluminum. Nitrate, there's only one. Hydrogen, we have only one. Sulfates, we have three. Okay. I'd probably start by putting a two here. That's going to make your aluminum two. It's going to make your nitrate six. To get six nitrates over here, you put a six. This becomes six. So does the hydrogen. Six hydrogen and two. If you put a three here, three times two is six. Sulfates become three. Lo and behold, you have browns. Two, six, six, three, two, six, six, three, two, three, one, and six. This is a double replacement because once again, you have two compounds forming two new compounds. Notice aluminum goes with sulfate. Hydrogen goes with nitrate. Double replacement. Okay, this one. One iron, one sulfur, one hydrogen, one chlorine. On this side, one iron, one sulfur. Uh, let's see, two hydrogen, two chlorine. All you have to do is put a two here. And that makes these two in your balance. So one, two, one, one. This is another double replacement. Okay, iron goes with chlorine. Hydrogen goes with sulfur. Two compounds forming two new compounds is a double replacement. All right, and this one, uh, we have one sodium. And then once again, we have hydroxide and hydrogen. So it might be easier to think of this as an H and an OH. It's the same thing. One hydrogen and one hydroxide. And it works if you separate them as elements as well. Uh, let's see, we have one sodium. Hydrogen, we have two. Hydroxide, we have one. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. You might say, okay, if we put a two here, uh, the hydrogen and the hydroxide both turn into two. To get two hydroxides, you put a two there. Sodium also turns into two. Put a two here. So two, 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 one are the coefficients. Okay. Believe it or not, this is a single replacement. Because you have an element in a compound, a new element in a new compound. So basically what happens here, sodium enters and kicks this hydrogen off. Okay, single replacement. In this one we have one copper, one sulfate. We have two ammoniums. We have one sulfur. Product side, uh, one copper, one sulfate. We have two ammoniums, and we have one sulfur. This one's already balanced, okay? Does that happen? Yep, it just did. Okay, um, this is another double replacement. As notice, copper is going with the sulfur. Ammonium goes with sulfate, right? So two compounds making two new compounds, double replacement. One aluminum, three bromine, two chlorine. Over here, one aluminum, two bromine, three chlorine. Okay, uh, three and two, let's make a common factor of six. If I put a two there, aluminum becomes two, bromine becomes six. To get six, I place a three there. Okay, um, to fix the aluminum, if I put a two here, aluminum becomes two, chlorine becomes six. Put a three here, chlorine becomes six, two, six, six, two, six, six, two, three, two, three are the coefficients. This is a single replacement. Chlorine is entering the compound, kicking bromine off. So an element and a compound turning into a new element and new compound, single replacement. Okay. One potassium, one chlorine, three oxygen. One potassium, one chlorine, two oxygen. A uh, common factor here is going to be 6. What are 2 here? This turns into 6. Both of these turn into 2. Place a 2 here. These both become 2. 2, 2, 3. This is a decomposition. One thing splitting into 2. One aluminum. One hydrogen. One chlorine over here. One aluminum. 
two hydrogen, three chlorine. Um, let's see here. You know, you might start by putting a two here and you say, okay, these both turn into two, but then you realize, oh, two and three, well, that common factor is six. So instead of a two here, I'm going to need a six, which is okay. You can always go back and change things. Uh, to get six chlorines, you put a two here. That changes into six, aluminum becomes two. How do I get six hydrogens? Put a three there. Put a two in front of the aluminum. Two, six, six, two, six, six, two, six, two, three. Um, this is another single replacement. You have an element in a compound turning into a new element in a new compound. Aluminum is going in there replacing the hydrogen. And that's it.